everyone. Uh, good morning. This is Shahul. I am the co-founder and CEO of Memo Apps, and we also have Aditya here, uh, who is the CTO. So I'll quickly share my uh, pitch deck. Okay, is my screen visible? Yes, it is. Go ahead. Uh, okay. Okay. So, uh, first of all, I just want to quickly give a brief about the problem that we are solving. So, we know there are a lot of edtech companies right now in India and also in the global market who are uh, who are solving the learning problem, like uh, conceptual learning and as well as understanding of concepts. But uh, we are focused on the retention part of it. So the exam preparation market in India is huge and almost uh, every single exam, uh, the success of the exam also depends on how much uh, we uh, retain the information. It all started with this comment, uh, which, I show, which I'm showing in the slide, where a student who was, was preparing for NEET exam actually commented in a YouTube video saying that, uh, I, I read the book, it's very easy, but uh, I'm, I'm not sure how can I remember it for a long time. I study everything, but early morning I, or in the evening, I almost forget everything. So a lot of students have this retention problem, though they can, they have good IQ, they have good knowledge of understanding things, uh, they can't retain uh, on the exam day. So the problem that we are solving is having uh, like uh, the challenge that students have to retain the entire syllabus on their competitive exam day like for all the exams and the one percent aspirants who actually you know like crack this exam uh, we did a lot of interviews and they acknowledged that their revision and the practice that they do is actually the key uh, for their high scores uh, it also requires a lot of motivation to practice these questions and also like uh, this generation usually the the Z generation or the millennials, they have the lowest attention span. So we also, we're also tackling uh, these problems. So our focus is uh, the 23 plus competitive exams that, uh, uh, that's, uh, uh, that happens in India. So which has almost 53,000 pages of content overall and almost 23 lakhs of lines of content and almost over 5 lakh facts and terminologies that all these students have to uh, retain in their mind like say it's the uh, most important exam starting from UPSC till the uh, UG level exams and school passed out level exams like JE and NEET everything requires retention so the solution is uh, the app uh, that we built with the spaced repetition algorithm so right now I just want to give a quick uh, brisk uh, explanation about the uh, space repetition. So a German scientist named as Hermann Hebbing was he actually invented a curve called as a forgetting curve. So the brain typically forgets everything in a curvy pattern. Like if you if you don't revise it or if you don't repeat it in specific intervals, it's going to forget it like a curve that is uh, that is falling down. So if we do revision based on Fibonacci series or uh, on specific pattern, we will nearly be able to flatten the curve, like how it's shown here. Like if you learn something, uh, you can actually flatten the curve and at the end, the curve becomes like this so that you retain like 99% of the content at the uh, retention on the exam day. So. Uh, and also customize the revision based on whatever the students answer right or wrong and also interactivity to have them actually motivated to uh, to involve in practicing because they could watch video lectures they could uh, go to coaching centers and study learn everything but it 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 involves a lot of motivation to actually revise it regularly to uh, to get good marks and also incentivize them based on how much they learn because we know most of the edtech product if you calculate like people buy it but if you calculate the utilization of the product actually uh, I, I have personally uh, bought many courses and have not done them at all like completely so and i've also seen with my friends they they are good at buying but they don't use it so there is no motivation to actually learn it completely and pass the quiz or pass the test so we want to incentivize the students or people who actually follow our revision algorithm and revise all the questions regularly uh, we we want to like probably give them all the money back probably because we are sure that not even 10% people will actually uh, utilize the product completely 
and then uh, quickly talking about the team myself shahul so i was working as a learning development learning and development team leader in tvs for two years i did my bachelor's in madras institute of technology in automobile engineering and then i got placed in tvs and then uh, i i did i i was a training and operations manager for a pit care company in canada uh, i'm right now associated with them as a part time consultant and then uh, Aditya is a full stack uh, android developer he worked for more than 3 plus years in various startups like quickride geospark and he's also an app sheet expert and uh, our uh, right now for our minimum viable product we had to choose an exam so we chose neat exam and uh, we uh, created for neat biology so for that a good add up was dr syed shahjalani he is the lead content developer he is mbbs graduate from king george medical university